I've got to be free to reach my goal, to do my thing, to play my role, cause I wanna kill, kill. I spill coo, coo, oh, 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 kill, kill. Well, call on to be exact. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Colin, didn't anyone ever tell you it was rude to read over people's shoulders? Yeah. <laughs> you can't read this. Yes, I can. It says, Dear Diary, today no, I... No, nobody can read this. Well, I admit your handwriting isn't that good, but... It's personal, <laughs> private, for my eyes only, and none of your business. Yeah, but what exactly do you mean? <laughs> this is my diary. Is, is that all? It's a very important book, Colin. I use it as a repository for all my thoughts. A repository? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be able to look back at it in years to come and see just how my life was. Hmm, sounds really boring. <laughs> all career women keep diaries, Colin. Ah. Michael, I hear you keep a diary. <laughs> Come on, Michael, you must have kept a diary sometime or other. No, never. I've always thought that keeping a diary is for people whose egos are bordering on the uncontrollable. Well, well like people who are up themselves. <laughs> yeah. Julia keeps a diary. <laughs> oh. She uses it as a suppository. <laughs> with keeping a diary, Michael. Lots and lots of famous people have kept them. Shakespeare, Anne Frank. Oh, I've heard of Shakespeare, but who are those other two people? Anne Frank. Yeah, Anne and Frank. Anne Frank. She was very, very famous, Colin. They even made a movie based on her diary. Oh, what was it called? The Diary of Anne Frank. <laughs> Clever title. It was a wonderful book. It was all about the occupation. Well, what, what was Sam Frank's occupation? The German occupation. What, singing and dancing wearing them stupid leather pants? <laughs> oh, look, Colin, it was a very serious and moving book about the Jewish refugees in hiding from the Nazis. And Anne Frank was not up herself, as you so charmingly put it. She was just an ordinary person who wrote down her life experiences. So you see, Michael, anyone can keep a diary. Yeah, fine, but I don't. Well, <laughs> if your life is not significant enough... Oh, and I suppose yours is. Yes, my life is very significant. And it is all going in here. Great. We'll get it published and make a fortune. <laughs> the diary of Julia Barnes. Edge of the seat action about a school teacher in Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> Reckon Penguin might be interested? I don't, I don't think penguins can read, Michael. <laughs> Look, neither of you two are reading this diary. Do you understand? D I'm not even the slightest bit interested. Oh, well, you should be. Yeah, well, I'm not. <laughs> and neither am I. Let's read it. No, no, Colin, that's an obscene suggestion. Yeah, sorry. A diary is somebody's personal and private property. Yeah. I mean, I would never even consider looking at that. Oh, good, because she wrote some pretty terrible things about you in her. She what? Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Dear Dory, today I went down to the shops and bought you. <laughs> now I'm writing on you. It sucks. <laughs> I, I fixed the vacuum cleaner, Colin. Now it really sucks. What, oh, good. What, 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 what have you got there? Oh, nothing. It's a diary. Colin started keeping a diary because he saw Julia had one. Oh, oh. It's like a disease. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> but the thing, the thing is, Michael, see, Ju Julia's got a point. Like that, that Sheila Ann Frank, she was nothing until she wrote a diary. Then she became really famous. So, see, I reckon if I write a diary, then chances are oh, I could become really famous too. <laughs> yeah, but no, Colin... Your life in Pittsburgh isn't quite as exciting as Anne Frank's was. Well, I don't know, Michael. Today I went down to the shops and I stood on an orange. <laughs> Colin, Anne Frank.
Frank's life was under threat from the Nazis. Why well, was in bare feet? <laughs> well, you know, it still doesn't sound very exciting. It could have been poo. <laughs> I just hope you don't write anything bad about me in there. You don't have to worry, Michael. I won't. How do you spell irritate me? I-R-I-T-A-T-I-N-G. Thanks, Julia. That's OK. I am a teacher. Yes, you are. You're just not a very good speller. Hey, <laughs> what do you got there? Oh, it's just some stuff for the school fete next weekend. Um, I was wondering if you boys could do me a favour. Well, depends what sort of a favour it is. Well, I need a hand with the organising. <laughs> Why don't you volunteer in the first place? Oh, out of a sense of duty and public spiritedness and because Mr Mackenzie, the principal, dobbed me in. <laughs> he, he was the principal when I was at school. He's, he's a really nice guy. Yes, well, he's quite nice. He's just a bit of a sleaze. I think he's probably got the hots for me. Yeah, I think he's probably going a little bit senile. Help me or not? Yeah, well, what do we have to do? Well, I've got to organise the lucky dip. That's what all this stuff's for. So, how can we be of help? By rapping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can get started on it right now. Yeah, well, I'd love to help you, Julia, but I really have to work in the vegetable. Oh, no, no, come on, Michael, that's not important. You can do that later. Not important? Julia, I hope you realise that I use all the stuff I grow. Oh, as food? Y yes, as food. <laughs> well, which I then cook for you and Colin. Well, then why don't you ignore the vegetable patch altogether? You'd be doing us a favour. <laughs> I'll be out the back if you need me, Julia. Michael, Michael, that's me, joking. <laughs> Come on, sit down, relax, you'll help us out. Good old Michael, always the reliable one. <laughs> Colin. Don't pat my head. OK, now I'll just get some scissors and some sticky tape. Hey, Colin, <clears throat> when Julia and I were at work today, you didn't happen to, um... No. ...read her diary, did you? Michael, how dare you make such a suggestion? No. It's just that, you know, you were here by yourself, nothing to do. Michael, I thought we decided that it was Julia's personal and private property. Yeah, fair enough. But anyway, it's got a lock on it and I tried to pick it and you can't. <laughs> Colin. <laughs> Suck, Ben. <laughs> I can't believe how juvenile this stuff is. I mean, look at this, Colin. Joy buzzers. <laughs> Soap that puts ink on your face. I mean, <laughs> who, could, who could possibly derive amusement from this sort of childish stuff? Goodness only knows, Michael. <laughs> Hi, guys. How's it going? Oh, good, Julia. Have a seat. <laughs> oh, very good, Colin. That's great. Can you put that in the rubbish bin for me, please? No, no, I was keeping it for the lucky dip. Right. <laughs> Not anymore. It seems to have burst. <laughs> You know, Julia, this stuff is disgusting. Oh, Michael, don't be wussy. It's harmless. <laughs> yes, I know. I know adults find this stuff pretty pure, but children just love it. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have stuck a knife through my head. <laughs> yes, very good, Colin. Come down here and help Michael and I now. I mean, it's like, look at this. Plastic vomit. <laughs> this one. Foaming sugar. You know, look, look, this one. X-ray glasses. Great fun at parties. See through the hostess's dress. Ah, oh, that's, that's a bit much. <laughs> Come on, look, it's all for a good cause. I mean, if we've managed to raise some money out of this, we'll be able to buy new books for the library and new equipment for the art room. That's worthwhile, isn't it, Cole? Yeah, absolutely. Now, well, why don't you help us instead of writing in that stupid diary? No, I'm not writing in it, Mark. I'm trying to fix the lock. <laughs> the lock seems to be broken. I've already wrapped 50 things anyway. How many have you wrapped? 20. Oh, very good. What about you? What about you, Colin? <laughs> I have been working like a well-oiled machine. Yes. How many things have you wrapped? One. What's that? A yo-yo. A yo-yo? A yo-yo. 
I'm not as good at rapping as Michael is. No, that's because you've been too busy playing around with these things, haven't you? I have not! Uh, care for a nut? Oh, look! You do not think I'm stupid enough to fall for that trick. <laughs> well, I was, I was kind of hoping. Ah. Uh... Your loss. Oh, cashews, my favourite. Mm. <laughs> Here's a trick. Watch this. No, it took me a while, actually. This one's good. Right? Huh? Go ahead, have one. Go on. Cashews, your favourite. before I wet myself. <laughs> good, good trick, eh? Yes, Colin, good trick. <laughs> oh, I think I might go to bed too. Colin, couldn't you help me clean up the stuff first, please? Ma Michael, I have far more, more important things to do than help you clean up. Such as? Well, such as writing in my diary. <laughs> Who knows, maybe they might make a movie out of my diary one day. <laughs> wonder who they'd get to play me. Probably Tom Cruise. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and, and they could get uh, Nicole Kidman to, to play you. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Michael. <laughs> oh, dear. always cleans up. Where is he? Michael! Sure, yeah. How very weird. I mean, he's normally around here at this time of the morning, isn't he? Fussing around. Michael! Julia, I think this <laughs> might explain things. Oh. Guys, I've decided to move out. I'll be back to collect my things later in the week. Hmm. What does that mean? I think it means he's moved out. E Street, Wednesday and Thursday on Channel 10. Well, <laughs> I think we're managing quite well without Michael. I mean, I hardly even notice he's not around. <laughs> yes, I mean, here I am. I'm doing the vacuuming. And there you are. Why won't the bloody thing work? Boy, have you got it on blow or on sack? I've got it on, I've got it on sack, Colin. I'm not a complete idiot. Oh. oh, well, you know, that's finished. It looks good. <laughs> See, we don't need Michael. I don't suppose he rang today, did he? No, Joya. You, you must have written something really terrible in your diary. Colin, I swear I didn't. Mickey! You're back. Uh, not for long. I just got to get the rest of my stuff. I'll help you. No, oh, don't be ridiculous, Colin. No, come, come sit with me, Mickey. Let's talk things over. Uh, it's Michael. Michael. Cup of tea, Michael. Uh, no, thanks, Colin. I really don't want to see No, but on. Michael, please, 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 because I don't understand why you're upset. I do. It's all because of you, Julia. <laughs> what did I do? No, you didn't do anything. Ha, 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 ha. There, see, innocent. I read your diary, Julia. Ah, oh, well, you shouldn't have done that. I was very disappointed in you. Sorry. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter now anyway. Well, we really miss you while you're away, Michael. Colin, I've been gone for a day. Gee, but you should have seen Julia. She was absolutely hopeless. <laughs> she couldn't even find the, the toaster, and you should have seen what she had for breakfast this morning. Cocoa pops with water. I did not. You did so. <laughs> I was on a special tummy diet. <laughs> Is it okay if I get my mattress on the weekend? Look, Michael, please, don't go, don't go, because I really, I don't understand why you're upset. Look, here's my diary, okay? You go through it. You go through it from front page to back page, and you tell me anything in there that you don't like, and I'll use my white out. No, I can't, I can't do that, Julia. No, yes, you can, come on, we'll do it no, together. Julia, I'm not in your diary. 
Oh. It's a hundred pages here and you haven't mentioned me once. Ah, that was a little bit of an oversight there, Joy. <laughs> Well, it's just that it's my diary, so I tend to write about things that are important to me. Yes, good. That, that should make him feel a lot better. <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay, Colin. It doesn't matter anyway. I, Julia said my life was insignificant. Well, diary proves it. <laughs> oh, well, at least I know what you think of me. No, Michael, I don't. I don't think that at all. No, she, she doesn't, Michael. Colin gets heaps of mentions. What? Look at this. Tuesday, February the 7th. My new tenant, Colin, is a fascinating person. He may look like a dork, he may sound like a dork, but deep down inside, I suspect, he really is a dork. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, at least it's something, right? I mean, what about all the stuff I do around here to keep this household together? Doesn't it mean anything to you? Yes, it does. Well, how come I'm not in here? I mean, heaps of stuff in here about the kids at Pittswood Tech and that time you went on the date with the policeman and what you did afterwards. Yeah, I could just have a little look after you. Thanks very much. <laughs> In a hundred pages, there's nothing about me. Uh, no, no, it's a hundred and two pages, Michael. No, it's a hundred, Colin. I, I counted. Ah, no, but you, but you didn't see what Joy wrote in today. Colin. Friday. It seems that Michael has decided to move out. I am finding it very difficult to write this as I feel more like crying. He might have been annoying at times and inclined to preach about certain issues, but he was one of the most thoughtful people I have ever shared a house with. I hope he decides to come back. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I just go and put my bag in my room. <laughs> Colin, you sly old fox. <laughs> I never wrote that in my diary. Oh, no. But you should have. <laughs> You want to read my diary? <laughs> Colin, I'm busy, please. Cleaning. Friday night. Julia is sweeping the floor. She looks like she is about to say... Shut up, Colin! Shut up, Colin! <laughs> Michael enters the room. No, Julia, d do it like this. It raises less dust that way. Says Michael. All <laughs> oh, right. And quicker? How do you do it quicker? Oh, yeah, you can do it quick. Oh, and can you do it over there and all around by the door? Oh, yeah, you can do it. Oh, OK. I'm just going to go and write in my diary. <laughs> Michael has been sucked in <laughs> to sweep the floor himself. <laughs> what an exciting evening we are having. <laughs> Have you two guys seen my diary? No. Ah, yeah, I think I remember where I saw it last. Where? Oh, on the kitchen table when we were wrapping those things for the fate last <laughs> night. What is it? Oh. <laughs> no, no. no, come on, Carl, speak to me. Um, <coughs> you know how I was really late and I was really tired? Don't speak to me. I think I wrapped up your diary. My diary is in the lucky dip at the school fete. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny. Colin, do you have any idea what was written in that diary? I have. All the details about my life. How I think the principal is an old sleaze. Yes, yeah, what you did with that policeman. Oh, and how I hate the metalwork teacher. Where your birthmark is. Oh. <laughs> what if a student sees it? Well, truly, I hardly th think a student is going to find your birthmark. <laughs> oh, and the diary. What happens if a student sees the diary? Oh, this is terrible. This is... T I could lose my job over this. Julia appears to be panicking. Of course I'm panicking, Colin. <laughs> what happens if the principal finds out I've called him an old...
old sleaze. She is in deep... Colin! <laughs> Look, Julia, oh. don't worry, I've got a plan. Let's go to the fate tomorrow. We'll go on the lucky dip until well. we get your diary back. Oh, what a stupid idea. That'll cost us a fortune. Got the whole school to know where your birthmark is? I'll get the housekeeping money. Julia! What? <laughs> <laughs> Suck in. Oh, Colin! You! <laughs> my goodness! Oh, my heart! <laughs> Michael? Mm. Where is Julia's birthmark? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that, Colin. Fair enough. <laughs>